Hey y'all! Today I have five Pokemon card packs to share with y'all. My dad gave these to me a couple of days ago and I decided to wait and open them up on camera instead of just rushing in and opening them all on my own. So what you see here is there is one fusion and then there is battle styles and I believe I'm going to open up the fusion up first. So this is pretty exciting. I'm talking about the pack art, how I'd like to maybe make some ornaments or maybe a bookmark or something with it. I had to do a voiceover instead of having my usual audio while I'm opening the cards because my dogs would not stop barking. And I didn't think y'all would want to hear bark after bark of my Chihuahua puppy dogs. So, we start off with the card trick. My nephew said to do the four cards and then put them in the front, so you always start off with an energy card. And you can see here, the artwork is really nice. I really like that swad loon there. So peaceful and sweet looking. And then of course that jigglypuff that was peeking out from the package earlier, very cute. And here I'm talking about Durant, the Steel Ant Pokemon, how I have gotten a greater appreciation for the bug type Pokemon because I've been making a lot of insect creepy crawly videos on YouTube. Go check them out. They're in the insect and creepy, creepy crawlies <laughs> uh, playlist. So go to my playlist and you'd be able to see all of the insects I've found around my house in my backyard in the woods. And unfortunately there was no hollow in this pack, but that cloister artwork looks really nice. I like the way the water was drawn. Alright, and now we are about to start the next pack with Tyranitar on the front. These are the battle style packs and we see a cute little kitty Pokemon, Glam Meow, peeking out from the packaging. And I took the code cards off on camera so y'all wouldn't be surprised, so y'all wouldn't be unsurprised. And I didn't look at the code cards either, so I didn't know if it was going to be, I would know for sure if I was going to get a hollow or not, so I just wanted them all to be surprises. For y'all and for me. And there's Carnivine. It's a pretty dynamic shot there. Ooh, I do not like Swordward or Shieldbert. I'm like, when I was playing Pokemon Shield towards the end, I thought, who are these guys? They are such jerks. <laughs> oh, and the cute little Galarian Slowpoke. <laughs> I really like this artwork of Yamper. It's very cute, especially with him holding the Pokeball in his mouth. That's very pretty artwork there. And I do like that artwork, and then I think the artwork looks really nice uh, put together with that shiny background of the card. And of course, I did not get a hollow here either, but I really do like the Marowak illustration. I think it's very nice. I like the way the bone of the, the skull bone and the leg bone, I like how they were shaded and colored. Now off to the next Battle Styles pack. This is the third one of the bunch. After this one, we'll have two more. You see Mankey peeking out. All right, now for the four card trick. All right, you count to four and you put them in the front so you can always start off with the energy. Another Bruxish. That Pokemon looks a lot like a clown to me. I don't really care that much for its appearance. So I did get a lot of doubles in these packs, so I am thinking of painting on the cards and extending the card artwork. Let me know in the comments if that's something y'all would be interested in seeing in a future video. 
Oh, this Esper is so cute. I love the hollow background put next to the regular background of the card. And my first hollow, Aggie Slash. Now I think this hollow looks really nice with this steel type Pokemon. It just, it gives it a mysterious vibe, especially with the full moon behind it in the illustration. All right, we're gonna open up this next one. And I think I start from the bottom here. All right, and then we got a roly coly peeking out from the packaging. Doing the one, two, three, four card card trick. And let's see what we get. Another urn of vitality, a girder, another esper, Shinx, a blip bug, a poniard, and a conkledur. That's a rare reverse hollow, so that's pretty nice. And another hollow. <laughs> this is a tapu bulu. Now, I think the speckle, like the or star hollow effect would have looked better for that illustration than the hollow that they have for these packs. I think that would have looked better. Like the old school hollow pattern from the first card packs. Oh, and then of course you saw that green there, so you know there's gonna be a hollow. <laughs> And I will say, I, I do like the hollow for this one a lot. Starting off with a steel energy, heat more. I don't have that one. Karina's focus. Another cubone. Another poniard. Another shinx. Now I do like that illustration of Ligar. And of course, another Reverse Hollow Spiro, but it is still such a nice card. And what did we get? Kingdra. <laughs> now I think the hollow pattern for Kingdra would have looked better if it was the circles, like the swirly circles of the old packs. Well, this is the end and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.